In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create three very different lighting styles using a single location. Now these three images were all shot in the same location with exactly the same lighting. The only difference was where I positioned my camera. You can create this garage style of lighting which ends up looking like a studio shoot but it's shot with daylight, split lighting and a variation on split lighting with a three-quarter profile shot. The location was a winery in Sicily as part of my Sicily workshop. Now it's a beautiful building and it had lots of daylight streaming in from the doors and the windows and it's one of the doorways that I used as my location for these three portraits. The first setup I position my model in the interior of the doorway just inside the doorway Let's have a look at how that looks as an aerial view. So you've got the building. You can see that uh, the sun is shining down uh, around the building. You bring your model just outside the doorway. And then what you want to do is make sure that you scooch them back into the doorway and just make sure that they're just inside the shade so that there isn't any actual sunlight hitting their face. So now we've got the model sitting in the shade of the building and you can see here that the light comes in through the doorway and where it's closest to the entrance, the light is brightest. And as we go back into the back of the building, you can see that it falls off into blackness. The fall off is far more rapid, closer to the light source. So the closer your model is to the light source, the more rapid the fall off is going to be. So if you want to have a beautiful back black background behind the model and without any detail you want to make sure that you bring your model as close to that light source that opening there without being in actual sunlight and you're exposing for the skin tone. So here's my model here just in the shadow part of the doorway just out of the sun. Here's a tight view of this. To expose for the skin tone I'm moving my focus point to the upper cheek there and I'm taking a reading. If you find that when you take a reading your skin tone is looking a little too dark then open up your exposure by a half to a stop until you get the desired result. Now there's three ways that you can open up or increase the exposure on your skin tone. You can open up your f-stop, you can decrease or slow down your shutter speed or you can increase the ISO. Finally, you want to move your focus point again and make sure that when you're shooting, you're focusing on the eyes. A variation of this system of lighting is to follow the exact same procedure. Bring your model inside the building so that they're just in the shade and this time we're shooting from inside the building and we're going to rotate our model so that he is adjacent to the light source. So we have the light source 
He's still streaming in from the side, but what we're getting now is a split lighting. So we've got our light source coming in from camera right, and the if we bring our model as close as we can to the light source, the brightest area of light, that light source is going to fall off very rapidly. The final variation of this is to just ask your model to turn their face slightly at a three quarter angle into the light. And what will happen is we'll have slightly more light hitting the model's face, camera left. When you're exposing for this kind of split lighting, you want to make sure that you expose for the skin tone on the brightest side of the face. When you take the same setup and expose for the shadow side of the face, what you'll get is more exposure on the shadow side. So you'll get more detail in the shadows, but you'll also blow out your highlight so you'll end up with an image that's uh, less contrast but you'll lose that beautiful split lighting effect so always if you want to create split lighting make sure that you exposed for the brightest part of the skin tone the highlight side of the face